What's up YouTube? This is for tough supplements. Stick around for how you should kind of consider writing these and if you can recycle at all from other essays. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I am Dr. Josie. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. So for a class of 2025, your responses are varied and for the most part, pretty short. They say think outside the box and they really actually mean that, but you wanna kind of think strategically. So essay number one, applicants to School of the Arts and Sciences, Engineering and five-year Tufts combined degree, they have these two questions. So which aspects of the Tufts undergraduate experience prompt your application? So in short, why Tufts? This is 100 to 150 words. So it's really, really short. You wanna get straight to the point. And so you have a couple of options. For the most part, this tends to be a why us, which is pretty much very heavily researched. If you want more information on it, I do have a template in the description below. You can check that out. So you wanna to get to the point perhaps stating the major that you have, a course, a research opportunity, a cultural kind of student organization that you would participate in. They're not gonna really hold you to this, but you wanna kind of make a case beyond the brand name. I've also seen pretty creative supplements, responses for this essay. I tend to tell students to do the why us because you are showing them that you have taken the extra initiative to really research what their resources and kind of opportunities are about. But I have seen kind of more creative, which is, kind of as if it were like a guided tour of their campus. And so that may be of interest too, especially if you have other kind of essays where you show other aspects of you being informed on their institution and their resources. So that's one. For the second option, these are three prompts that you can pick one from, and that is a response for 200 to 250 words. The first option is, it's cool to love learning. What excites your intellectual curiosity? So this is a great supplement to kind of showcase your nerdy side, right? If you love to build bridges and you wanna kind of test how much weight you can put on your bridge before it collapses. If you love to paint and you wanna kind of learn a new brushstroke or you kind of learned a new technique recently. So you really wanna kind of show how your intellectual curiosity has kind of amplified and exponentially grown mostly because of your initiative. So it's not something for the most part that you did in the classroom because you were directed by a teacher. So I think that that's kind of the fundamental aspect of how to even kind of show curiosity, right? That you've taken it upon yourself to expand upon and nurture an interest. Does it have to be part of your major? It can be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It's a good kind of an interesting way, especially if you talk in your main Common App essay about your major, this is another way of showing kind of varied interests, right? So it doesn't have to be kind of directly related to your major. Another option is how have the environments or experiences of your upbringing, your family, home, neighborhood, community shaped the person you are today? So this is your great opportunity to do the basically identity essay. So if your personal statement didn't really focus on your kind of cultural identity or upbringing or background, then this is the place for you to do it so that you can kind of show multi faceted kind of multi-dimensions to your application. And random, but if you are applying to Brown and or the University of Michigan, these could definitely be recycled with their home or communities essay. So here you want to kind of liven it up. You have the space, so bring in dialogue to kind of set the scene or use the five senses. I wanna see, taste, touch, hear you know, whatever appropriate, a moment, you can start with a mini story and then go into kind of reflection as to how that has shaped you, how these experiences or kind of basically made you who you are so far. And then number three is where are you on your journey of engaging with or fighting for social justice? So fighting for social justice is a pretty kind of banner statement, meaning that this is a tough one to kind of fake through. I'm not suggesting that you're faking anything, but I would pick this one if you have been very kind of in tune with a kind of political agenda of any kind. So if you volunteered for a political candidate, you don't have to say what party, but you can just say what you learned and you can kind of have an interesting grassroots efforts of getting people to sign up for, to vote, right? Or something like that. Have you enacted a new recycling program or a special needs best buddies type program in your school. So think about what you have done to kind of help a marginalized community or get politically involved. And if that is you, then this may be an interesting supplement for you to go for. If you are applying to the BFA or five year BFA, BA, BS combined, the SMFA at Tufts, here are a couple of more questions for you. So the first one is kind of like a white tufts, but is bridging your artistic and kind of intellectual endeavors. So which aspects of the Tufts undergraduate experience prompt your application? Why SMFA at Tufts? And so again, 
I have my kind of YS template if you want more very in-depth guidance on like a roadmap onto what you kind of place where and what you research and that's in the description below but I want to give you kind of some insight as to how to approach this because you definitely have two very different types of supplements for this program. This first one, it's all about multidisciplinary expression and action. So it's both kind of artistic and intellectual passions and how you kind of bring those together. So it's not just that you want to paint a pretty picture, right? You have to have kind of exemplify a critical thinking or a voice, an angle. You have to say something of value, I think is what they kind of want to find in potential candidates. And so you want to kind of look at their front page, right? So it says five Five years, two degrees. Become a portrait painter with a distinctly feminist perspective that is bridging kind of two disciplines, right? A social activist trained in performance strategies. Again, bridging two kind of intellectual and artistic hemispheres. Or a biologist with a deep expertise in 3D modeling. This kind of combined degree program is definitely kind of fine arts, but then a bachelor of science in a degree, right? In a discipline. So you definitely want to kind of think about what your stance, angle, interests are and how you can kind of bring those together. Prompt two is more philosophical. It is, art has the power to disrupt our preconceptions, shape public discourse, and imagine new ways of being in the world. What are the ideas you'd like to explore in your work? So 200, 250 words. So this is your opportunity to be more philosophical in nature. I would potentially even start describing a work you've done, a piece you've done, zoom in, describe its kind of particular nuances, use descriptive narrative, the five senses, so that we can kind of be there observing the art with you. And then zoom out and talk about your art process. Talk about your messaging. What is it saying about your cultural heritage, about public discourse, about kind of your ideas about the world. So kind of bring in this vocabulary of critical thinking and engaging thoughtfully with your piece, right? So that you are showing basically the type of work at a different level that you'll be doing in this program. If you found this video helpful, definitely give us a like, comment below any questions. I love to engage with your questions and offer my help whenever possible. I'll see you soon. Bye.